What's up, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and yikes! Uh, the woke Snow White remake uh, has made its way onto the internet, and uh, the reaction is not good. In fact, most people saying it looks like complete garbage. This on the heels of it absolutely blowing its already massive budget. This movie is going to need to make nearly a billion dollars at the box office to break even. Disney themselves is said to be panicked, saying that the star, Rachel Zegler, is unhinged and a liability. And I'm absolutely here for all of it. Because when you get woke, this is what you get. This is the, uh, this is the trade-off. Uh, let's get into the articles. By the way, huge shout out to uh, Mighty's. A friend of mine uh, started this business and uh, I thought I would do something nice and, and give his business a shout out because I, I really think it's kind of a great idea. Um, it, it, it's like all these kids are, are drinking complete garbage and, and sugar and things like that. Uh, all these kids want, um, you know, all these sugary drinks, whether it's, you know, the Paul Brothers stuff and all that. Well, uh, attention moms and dads. Did you know the average child consumes 61 grams of sugar per day? Per day. 46% of that comes from drinks. That's a whopping 65 pounds of sugar per year, enough to fill a 30, gallon, uh, 30 gallons or an entire bathtub. It's time to make a change. Say hello to Mighty's. Delicious zero sugar solution packed with essential amino acids, building blocks of protein, it's like giving your kids a protein drink that tastes like their favorite juice. No more battling over sugary drinks um, or tripping over juice boxes scattered all over the house. Here's the best part. Since he's my buddy and I hustled him, uh, he's going to give all my viewers a discount. So quartering viewers get a special discount. You get 25% off your first three orders with promo code thequartering if you subscribe or 25% off your first order, standalone order. Whichever you prefer, it's just a crazy deal for you guys. Mighties.com slash the quartering and grab this. Uh, you can head over to that. It's a link in the description. Grab this unbeatable offer before it's gone. Make a mighty different difference in your child's health today. And oh, you get a free kids t-shirt as a bonus right now. If you read this stuff, there's no colors or dyes. It's gluten-free, sugar-free, no bad sweeteners. Um, and some of these reviews are crazy good. Like it helps kids with hydration, supporting brain function, um, attention span, essential amino ad ad uh, acids, vitamins B and D, zinc starts balancing mood and en enhancing cognitive clarity. You can see a lot of these uh, reviews from people that have been using it. So I was really impressed with this product and his website. So I thought I'd give him a, a deal. The quartering, I'm sorry, mighties.com slash the quartering or uh, promo code the quartering, link in the description. Disney's Snow White trailer has leaked, and it's not good. Walt Disney Studios ja just can't catch a break, and as always, it's their own fault. After years of film flops and failures, and a stock price that has declined nearly 42% in the past three, year and a half, three and a half years, Disney desperately needed its incredibly expensive Snow White remake to be a financial success. First set photos leaked showing a disastrous decision to change the famous seven dwarfs to what looked like characters from Portlandia. Bad press, reshoots, and CGI redesign led to Disney delaying the film a full year. And then just months before its new date, lead actress Rachel Zegler decided to go off on Instagram about more than half the country about Donald Trump winning the 2024 election. Exactly what Disney wanted to see, the, Disney, the lead actress of an over-budget delayed, heavily criticized movie insulting half of the country after a stunning electric election rebuke of her ideology. Now that the trailer is out ahead of the new Wicked movie and is leaked online to um more criticism, the trailer hints at several problems with Snow White's release and any number of errors. This Snow White has many problems, few answers. Former Disney Imagineer Jim Schull summed up many reactions saying that the trailer is, quote, unwatchable. And he's right. The look and feel of the movie is quite simply horrendous. An oversaturated CGI mess with what looks like zero real sets. The hastily inserted dwarfs look terrible. 
And there seems to be some heavy editing to make Zegler's face look abnormally soft. There's the girl boss attitude, the change that was hinted at by Zegler during her disastrous press tour where she called the original story and prints weird. Sure enough, there's still a photo of Snow White with weapons pointed at her and a crowd behind her. Instead of needing the help of her friends, it seems like Disney's decision was to make her the leader of the resistance to the evil queen. Ridiculous. The problem with modern Disney, with their film studio, is the entire film industry at large. They do not understand what made successful historical releases successful and beloved. Their only answer is to modernize every character in their political mold, completely misunderstanding or ignoring the underlying message. The Snow White character and his story is about friendship. By the way, she's called Snow White now because she survived a snowstorm or something like that. It's not because her skin is white as snow. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. You see this also. Disney faces backlash over Snow White, Rachel, uh, Snow White's Rachel Zegler's Trump comments unhinged and a liability. Rachel Zegler is whistling a controversial tune after the Snow White star went on a tirade against those who voted for Donald Trump in the 2024 election. The president-elect supporters began calling on Disney to take action. Well, what can they do? They're stuck with her. The movie's basically done. It's way over budget. And they can't, uh, they can't just replace her. They would just have to scrap the entire film. Zegler plays the star role of Snow White in the live-action film, which is set to release in the spring of 2025. With her comments going viral on X, outraged Trump supporters are vowing, vowing to boycott the project. Well, you have all the Trump supporters boycotting the project, all the Jewish people boycotting the project, uh, all the... All, you know, 25,000 Palestinians in America might pay to see it. Uh, the woke left is too broke to go see it. So I'm not exactly sure what, what her plan is. Not taking my kids to see this trash after the statement you put out. Disney, you need to do something about this one social media wrote. So user wrote, I hope you get no peace when this film bombs at the box office. The second wrote, she had hoped that all Trump supporters and voters never know peace. And also that they uh, that Donald Trump himself knows no peace. Rachel Zegler is an unhinged liability. A critic claimed they should permanently shelf Snow White and distance themselves from her. Her involvement in the company alienates millions of people and poisons the brand overall. Well, I mean, I agree with that, um, but I don't think they're going to do that. You know, I think that you have a lot of people who, in general, are concerned with kind of like the modern wokeification of stuff and the reimagined stories, but this one takes the cake. You know, she ends up apologizing, half apologizing anyway. That's only because Disney made her. And you know what? Why even apologize? Because the fact of the matter is she meant what she said. She meant what she said. She hates more than half the country. She hates Trump. She hates, uh, she hopes that you know no peace. She hates everything you do and everything you say. And her apology is complete uh, PR speak. And by the way, Trump supporters aren't going to forget this. Trump supporters aren't going to forget the stuff that she said. Parents, by the way, don't forget to check out mighties.com slash the quartering, promo code the quartering. Mighties.com, I'm, I'm sorry, parents are not going to be able to, uh, parents are not going to forget this. That's the reality. Parents are not going to forget what she said. Trump voters are not going to forget what she said. They, the minute they start advertising this garbage, every comment's going to be bringing it back up. Again, Snow White trailer blasted by former Disney Imagineer. I mean, here's Jim Shaw. The trailer for Snow White is unwatchable. Pinocchio was directly released at Disney+, Plus, and that film starred Tom Hanks. I mean, yikes. A Disney Imagineer saying, bad. I'm so sick of live action remakes of timeless animations. Well, yeah, everyone is, you know, now, uh, little mermaid, I think did. Okay. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it broke even or only lost a little bit of money. I can't remember exactly, but this movie is going to tank. Now I can't play any of the trailer because I'm sure Disney would take down the video almost certainly, but like, I'm not exactly sure what they were thinking. Um, Hiring somebody who is politics first, a Nepo baby that never had to work for anything in her life. I mean, everybody was covering this trailer too. 
Look at this. Forbes recently reported that the budget for the upcoming live action Snow White has ballooned up to $270 million, and that was by the end of 2023. The movie has blown past its originally intended budget, which was 180 to 200 million, no doubt and mostly due to the reshoots and rewrites that have plagued production. Given that number, okay, given that number uh, is now closer to $300 million range since there are further additional photography done on film in 2024. Earlier this year, the Daily Mail, not always the most reliable source, reported the figure to actually be in the 330 million dollar range at 330 million dollars this film will have to make a billion dollars at the box office to break even and the star of it said that she hopes half of the country knows no peace ever um i just don't think that you're gonna see a lot of people running out to see this film i i just i don't i don't think you're gonna now obviously i could be wrong um I, I just don't think because every time she opens her mouth, she makes it worse for Disney, worse. And nobody's going to remember this. You know, nobody, I'm sorry, nobody's going to uh, forget this by the time this movie comes out. I know this to be true because that's exactly how it went with Amber Heard and Aquaman. People did not want her around for Aquaman. They put her in it anyway. And so when it came out, everyone remembered and said, I'm not going to see this trash. Uh, and they didn't. And that movie completely tanked as well. So enjoy your disastrous launch, Disney. Screw Rachel Zegler. Hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my friend's business, mighties.com slash the quartering. Get your kid or maybe your friend's kid or if you, have, if you babysit or whatever, something healthy for them to drink. We'll talk to you again real soon. All right, that. Check.